It is hallowed ground. Here in the side of Europe lie thousands of Americans who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country in two world wars. They are buried row upon row under simple white crosses or stars of David in cemeteries in Belgium, England, France, Luxembourg, Italy, and the Netherlands. They died far from home in battles and operations known as Belleau Wood, the Somme, the Meuse Argonne Offensive in World War I, or D-Day, Anzio, and the Battle of the Bulge in the Second World War. As the living memories of these battles fade, besides the history books, these cemeteries are what are left to remind us of their sacrifice. More than 100,000 soldiers, sailors, marines, and airmen are buried in these cemeteries, looked after by the American Battle Monuments Commission. They range from Flanders Field American Cemetery, with 386 American war dead, to the 14,246 interred at Meuse Argonne American Cemetery. Both are World War I cemeteries. Lorraine American Cemetery, with 10,489 fallen, is the largest American World War II cemetery in Europe. Despite differences in size, the cemeteries have much in common. The stone crosses and stars of David are inscribed with the name, rank, unit, home state, and date of death of the fallen. Some read simply, here rests in honored glory an American soldier unknown but to God. American soldiers replaced with comrade in arms on World War II markers. A memorial structure, usually incorporating a chapel, is besides the graves, the centerpiece of the cemeteries. Inscribed on walls or slabs of stone nearby are the names of the missing, those who died in combat but whose bodies were never found. Giant maps portray military operations in the area. All cemeteries have visitor centers with information on the cemetery and a guest book to sign. With the manicured green grass and inspiring monuments, the cemeteries are a place of wonderful beauty mixed with utter sorrow. Buried here are Americans from all walks of life. Their names are a mix of the melting pot that is the United States. Anglo-Saxon names, Asian names, Irish names, Hispanic names, and despite of, or maybe because of who the enemy was, many German names are engraved on the markers. Privates and generals, Jews and Gentiles, people from every state in the Union, the District of Columbia, and even other countries who gave their lives for the United States are buried here. Many of the cemeteries are not far from Americans stationed in Europe. Lorraine American Cemetery is just over the French border from Kaiserslautern and Baumholder, while the Luxembourg Cemetery is less than an hour from Spangdalem. Netherlands American Cemetery is close to those stationed in Chinon and Brunsum. Henri Chapelle and Ardennes American Cemeteries are just across the border in Belgium. Also in Belgium, Flanders Field American Cemetery is not far from Brussels and Mons. Cambridge American Cemetery in England is only about a 35-minute drive from RAF Lakenheath and Mildenhall. American Station in Naples can visit Sicily Rome Cemetery at Nettuno, and Florence American Cemetery is not far from Camp Darby. On this Memorial Day, or on any day you can, visit one of the cemeteries and honor and remember the men and women who gave their lives for their country. <laughs>